Weather Authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. All right, it is life hack time, Angie. Even though we need to have our own life hack we calendar. We do. I think we're going to work on it. We need to. In our spare time. <laughs> yeah. Like we've got so much of that. Okay, it's the ninth day of May. Uh, going on a trip. Yes, I'm going to Europe. Yes, you are. I'm following your lead. You went to Europe for like six weeks last year. Can't really take six weeks, but I'm going to take two. So I'm going You'll there be so glad you this did. month. I, I'm really. I'm going to some of the places you've gone to before and some that you haven't gone to. I know. I'm excited. Always plan to have always plan to be packed an hour before you leave. I'll be packed more than an hour before I leave. I'd say. Uh, use this hour to tidy up your house. Not only will you come home to a clean house, but you'll almost always find something you forgot to pack. Okay, maybe. But there's no way I'm coming back to a clean house with six cats. No, probably not. What are you doing uh, with your cats? Are you? Well, no, a buddy of mine's going to come over there, and he's actually going to... Uh, cat sit? Cat, well, not so much cat sit. It's just clean out the litter box and make sure they got food and water. Right, I think right. I don't think he's sitting around too long with them, but he's going to make sure that they got the essentials. I went to Europe and came back to a new kitchen. <laughs> yes, I did. Thank you, David Oldham. That was that wonderful. Was it's like sweet. walking in one of those home uh, decorating shows when you walk in. And yes. Go, oh my God. What? I mean, I knew they were going to do it, but I just didn't knew it was going to be that wonderful. It, it is. Really it's a is sweet simple. kitchen you've yeah. got there. It's a sweet. Maybe that could happen to you. <laughs> <laughs> I could use a new refrigerator. Okay, if, if you're out there, that, yeah, surprise him. Uh, stove, maybe. Yeah, but who knows? I don't know. My appliances are doing okay so far, though. As we take a look at our Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union camera, yeah, we got a good look at the interchange at 66 and 69, as per usual, from Deaconess Gateway. The flag kind of blowing in the breeze out there. The sunshine trying to get through the clouds, and it will succeed soon enough as we see and traffic having no problem. No tr problem with the traffic on the twin bridges. That's always a big plus. Uh, 40,000 cars and trucks ride over these bridges on a given day, uh, on average anyway. And Maldonado's roofing and siding uh, is the one getting a shot there from mm, Ellis Park. And then now we see some sunshine breaking through. The farther west you go, the more sunshine you've got in play. And that's one of the reasons why. And southwest, too, from Evansville. It's one of the reasons why we're seeing a little more sunshine at USI. That's our Austin Homes camera there. Now we're seeing the sun break through the clouds just in time for Angie to get home and walk down Main Street. Uh, barge round in the bend right there, but you are seeing more sunshine. And that river looks mighty brown. <laughs> it's 72 degrees right now with the west-southwest wind at 9 miles an hour. Temperature-wise, yeah, it's as low as 64 Lagodi in French Lick, where they haven't seen any sunshine this morning. Where we're seeing more sunshine, temperatures warm up quite a bit. In fact, 13 degrees warmer uh, than Lagodi in Carmi at 77. 73 in Morganfield, 73 in Fairfield, 72 here in town, 71 in Henderson. So, like to see that. Uh, we're all going to be seeing the sunshine before the day is done. Well, we didn't see a whole lot of sunshine yesterday afternoon and evening with the clouds and the storms that developed. And look at the size of this hailstone. We're going to call it an extra large egg, although it's probably a little bit bigger than that. Uh, April Sailor is the one that got that hailstone, plucked it from her yard. And look at all the hail that's down there. I mean, not all of it's the same size. That's one of the things you think, man, you had like, oh, it's almost tennis ball sized hail. Then you, you had that size hail? And then you look down and you're thinking, okay, not everyone's like that, but you've got some bigger stones down there, some small smaller ones as well, but man, what a bunch of hail. In fact, there was one point down in Muhlenberg County, this is where April's from, uh, that it basically littered the road so much that it looked like it snowed. I mean, it was just all coated in hail, and it was hazardous to, to go across. So, yeah, that's kind of wild, that, that much hail and that big a hail, too. Hey, April, thank you so much. Live radar not showing a thing, not expecting any rain. Look at all the rain that we've had already in the past couple of days. It's rained every day this month, save one. That was the first day, May Day, of the month. Uh, ever since then, we've had at least a trace of rain, and most of the time, we've had a lot more than that. In fact, the past two days at the Evansville Airport, better than two inches of rain. But look at the whopping totals you can see south of Evansville, kind of cutting through western Kentucky, also parts of southeast Illinois. Uh, the heaviest I could find was in Union County. In fact, a couple of pockets, one to the east of Morganfield, boom, 5.4 inches of rain. That's just in the past two days. Uh, and then, boom, uh, down to the south west of Morgan Field at 5.1, so better than five inches in those two pockets and really all across the county, too much rain uh, to be had. This is Storm Tracker, and I've kind of zoomed in a little bit on the satellite. <laughs> Check it out. The clouds are just clinging uh, to parts of the tri-state, still clinging uh, to Owensboro for sure and, and to the northeast. But you've got clearing as you move to the west, clearing down to the southwest, and we're going to be clearing out here fairly soon as those clouds continue to recede uh, from west to east across the tri-state. And good riddance to those, too. A little bit of rain up around Chicago, although the wealth of the rain is starting to push out of the picture. Rain down around Atlanta, but looking good, or at least looking better anyway, in Nashville. St. Louis has plenty of sunshine if you're traveling there. Future track, really not much to track this afternoon. Plenty of sunshine, maybe a stray shower or two up around Washington, Lagodi to our northeast. But for the most part, we're all staying dry. Now, as we head into 
our Friday morning, we're going to see more clouds kind of spill on in from the north. Maybe a couple of showers out there tomorrow morning, but our future tracker really overplaying the chance for rain. It's 10% tomorrow. I'm not going to put that on the board. And as we head into Friday night, looking good. A lot of things going on this weekend. Of course, it's Mother's Day weekend, and I think we've got ourselves a fantastic weekend shaping up. 79 degrees for a high today. Looking pretty good this afternoon, too, as clouds give way to sunshine. Plenty of wind, though. That's going to be the one problem child out there today. Uh, it's going to be that 15 to 25 mile per hour wind is going to shift to the northwest. Three degree guarantee. Called for a high yesterday of 85. It got up to 80. Two. That'll work. Oh, yeah. That's within three. Ron Tomlinson. <laughs> oh, Anderson. Angie had to hesitate. Yeah, that's right. That is. <laughs> three works. Not quite four. I mean, I got within three. That's the name of the game. And uh, 79 today, of course, going to be noticeably cooler tomorrow on the high and the low. We started today in the mid 60s. We'll be in the mid 50s tomorrow. We'll have a few clouds tonight, but we're going to get some breaks. 70 for a high. That's it. After a slow start with some clouds out there in the morning. And then the Sunday, Saturday and Sunday over Mother's Day weekend, mid to upper 70s out there. Slight chance of rain on Saturday. Looking good. Looking good. Good. Looking good. Yeah. Speaking of looking good, we had last night after the storms and before another, the final round of storms, in between those, uh, we had a beautiful sunset in some places. This is from oh, Slaughter's. Gorgeous. And look at the sunset down there. You can see the sun. But check out the Mamatis clouds, those pockets that hang uh, from the, the base of these clouds. You usually see those after thunderstorms. That is an awesome looking sky. Ashley Scott got that in Slaughter's, Kentucky. Excellent. I saw that you posted that. We'll be back. Yeah. Stay with us.